hii timu iko na pesa ya kununua najua kwa kulima mara mingi wanasema oh tumesalisha sasa hatuna mtu ya kununua i think we are doing a good job eh vile nilisema governor tukiwa kwa ofisi eh, in eh, about 2022 we only doing about 5000 acres last year we scaled up through these activities na tukafikisha eka 1040 This year we are looking at 103. Shida ambayo tulikuwa nayo kidogo kidogo ilikuwa shida ya mbegu. We have gone out of our way through the office of the president. We now have gone you can see Lori is mama iko na mbegu. We have gone all the way to Togo. Hii mbegu iko hapa it was grown in Togo. Uh, we've gotten seed from Chad from Benin na tunachanganya na ile yetu tuko nayo hapa ya PT ambayo tuko nayo and the little uh, cotton lind that was bought from here ikienda salawa wakishatoa cotton ile seed na baki pia tunarudisha so part of the OPV is the 15000 tons the 15000 kilos which is 15 tons that will be giving today ni ile wakulima walikuwa wamesalisha koto ni katolewa ikatengenezwa nguo na ile mbegu ilitoka pia tumerudisha so mimi nikiona nataka kushukuru wote vile tumeshikana ya kwamba hii kasi haiwezi fanyika na mtu mmoja na lazima tushikane and i appreciate what the, the the speaker has said when it comes to a kenyan hakuna mkenya wa county government na hakuna mkenya wa national government but we really also want to appreciate that working together of the national government and the county government is provided for within the law that we shall be able to work together so nataka kushukuru national government team ambao wako hapa team ya county government that have done a great job uh, the stakeholders including thika cloth mill salawa jinari na wengine for coming together so imbegu leo tunatoa hapa tuna mbegu imetolewa na state department ya industry tuna mbegu imetolewa na county government of siaya tuna TCM tuna afa tuna sangin na yote karibu ile mbegu tuko nayo hapa ni karibu 25 million worth of cotton tupe makofi kwa hiyo and uh, we are hoping so na wakulima sasa tukipata hii mbegu najua ni wakati ya kupanda and i know sometimes we prioritize chakula but pia pesa mfukoni ni muhimu so we will say panda chakula yako mahindi maragwe lakini set aside a small piece to pande cotton eh, governor last year tukikuja hapa tarehe tano mwezi wa tano, bei ya cotton tulikuwa tunanunua 1 kilo for 52 shillings eh, by the end of 2023 tukakaa chini eh, iti mikakaa we looked at the cost of production and we asked ourselves at which point does a farmer make a profit and we were able to come up with a new price of 65 shillings as we talk now we are buying between 65 and 72 shillings that is an increment of almost uh, from 52 hiyo uh, ni karibu 17 shillings juu ya hiyo bei so nikiangalia uh, the future is looking very good sisi wote tunafaa nguo if you look at cotton kama umevaa nguo you are putting on cotton ile aibu tuko nayo ni kwamba hii nguo tunavaa ni nguo imetengenezwa na pamba that has been grown by somebody else so sisi hatuna pesa kwa mfuko lakini tumepeana nafasi mkulima wa India mkulima wa China mkulima wa Uganda mkulima wa Tanzania apande cotton sisi tutengeneze nguo wewe uvae na hatuna pesa so it is a very very important crop because always kosa soko kwa sababu sisi wote tukiamka asubuhi lazima tufae nguo na ndio tutengeneze hiyo nguo lazima tuwe na cotton that is why his excellence the president has prioritized mambo ya cotton and we have gone out as his team to make sure ya kwamba tuna leta environment ambaye itatusaidia kurudisha cotton bahari ilikuwa ile kitu imetus, vile nimesema imetusumbua sana ilikuwa ni seed because 
vile tunaendelea kupanda last year this year we started off with a lot of worry but vile nimesema we have gone beyond the borders of Kenya mbeku tuko nayo mbolea serikali imeleta for 2500 county government is also doing the same so mambo ya chemicals na nini naona wako wataalamu hapa wanatuonyesha mambo ya cooperative ya kujiunga pamoja tuko na PS hapa we also have cooperative bank I know that uh, kama jina yetu iko hapa Mluanda in Busia already cooperative bank walikuwa umetupea manager hapo kusimamia hiyo uh, jina uh, so we are doing well uh, uh, mambo ya jina ndio bado yanatushikilia kwa sababu tukiangalia hii region we have a small jina in Mluanda hapa Busia uh, pia there's a small jina in Malakisi but the bigger one that we are using is the one in Baringo which is Salawa uh, jina but tumerawana na governor ya kwamba we will work together eh, county kitoa shamba tutafute investor ili tuweze kujenga jina yetu hapa eh, CIA na remember kama tunataka kujenga jina lazima tukue na cotton ya kutosha because you don't want to buy a jina for 250 million uweke hapa kutengeneza kunia tano ya cotton so the thing i want to encourage the county and the farmers is let's go full blast waja tupande cotton so that tukileta hiyo jinari ikuwe na kazi ya kufanya so and uh, as we do the jinari then we will start to get more value because tut, mbegu yetu itabaki hapa hiyo mbegu tunaweza tengeneza mafuta ya kupigia hiyo mbegu tunaweza tengeneza sabuni hiyo mbegu tunaweza tengeneza chakula ya kuku na chakula ya ngombe so if we gin here we will get a lot of value but also to kianza kujine hapa uh, one of the things that we also want to encourage the county governments tuko na shule uh, which the county government for example unasimamia mambo ya early childhood education ECD hata kama tunaweza kuanza kutumia cotton ya ya ya, ya siya ya kutengeneza tu nguo uniform ya watoto we can have a small uh, place for knitting tutengeneze mashati na masuruari za vijana ili uh, as we have said, we want to promote the slogan ya kwamba buy siaya, build siaya. Tunataka tufaye nguo ya watu ambao ya, eh, imetoka hapa. La mwisho, governor, I know that we are working together on the county aggregation and industrial park. Uh, tendering was done. Uh, exchequer has been slow, but I know that we have agreed with the national treasury ya kwamba before this end of March, you will have some money ya kutengeneza mambo ya county aggregation and industrial park. Na bali tulishikana na county government ni kwamba kwa county aggregation and industrial park, the county government ya Siaya imetoa shamba. Alafu county government imeweka 250 million na ministry ya trade, investments and industry pia imetoa 250 million. So through the CAIP, we are establishing an aggregation and industrial area ya milioni miatano. Not just for cotton, but look at other things, rice, fish, and other commodities that we identified during the launching. Sisi siya tunasema msingi ya maendeleo ni kilimo. Na kilimo pamoja na blue economy. Kwa hivyo ukija na mbegu za pamba, Na unasema ya kwamba ni pesa mfukoni hiyo tuna kukaribisha kwa mikono miwili na tunataka urudi na urudi. Ile kitu ambapo naweza kukuhakikishia ya kwamba siaya is a cotton country counted county na kutoka hapa paka ndere ni karibu kilomita inne peke yake na tulikuwa na jinari ambao ilijengwa hapa karibu miaka 80 ambao uh, zilipita wakati wa ukoloni inaitwa ndere jinari hapo tuna hekta karibu 20 kama ni mambo kutoa ardhi ili tuone jinari mpya tayari tuna hekta 20 we unasema ika 5 na sisi tuna Hekta ishiri. Hata mijengo mingine bado ziko pale. Na hizo mijengo zingine zinaweza kutumika ingawaje kama tunaleta jina mpya 
lazima tuwe na mijengo ambao ni ya kisasa na mambo za stores na warehousing haya yote lazima tuiziangalie na kule madian ambao ndio sehemu ambao e, tunalima uh, pamba kuliko sehemu zingine katika siya ya county tayari pia kule tuna ardhi na tuna jina kadogo ambao tukiongeza hela na wale investor ambao ambapo wamekuja hapa inaweza kuwa jina kubwa vile ulikuwa nasema lakini tunaweza kufanya hata kuliko vile umesema katika hiyo jina ya Madian tuna ardhi na serikali ya county ilikuwa imeweka tayari shilingi milioni saba na pia katika ile budget ya 2024 2025 tumeweka karibu milioni 30 sasa bwana Juma mwana kama ile rafiki yangu wa dhati kama imetoa ardhi na tumetoa hela karibu milioni hamsini. si jina ni sasa ikuje tu mara moja hata ukisema mikijayo <laughs> tuanze hizo mpango tukae na ulisema kweli tunaweza kukaa chini tupange namna ya kuleta jina ri hapa sia na nimekubali ya kwamba jina ri bila pamba bila kuzalisha pamba e, itakuwa ni kazi ya bure na hii ndio wakati ambapo tunaweza kuonyesha kwamba tunaweza kulima pamba ya kutosha na ambapo ya kwamba tukiwa na jinari that jinari is not going to be idle in siaya we are taking seriously value addition and value chains in the agricultural and blue economy sector tulikuwa na hapa uh, hapa hapa yala delta sehemu ambayo inaitwa usonga walikuwa nawakuza mpunga ya yeah, yote ilikuwa inaenda Uganda wanauza kule Uganda mpaka sasa uh, walikuwa na uh, uza uh, kule Uganda lakini county ya Siaya ikajenga kiwanda ya kisasa na, na mitambo ya kisasa na sasa kule tukienda na wewe ukiondoka hapa utapata tuna rice mill na tunataka ya kwamba ya mchele ya kutoka siaya eh, tuna, 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 tuna changamoto ambayo hiyo mchele ya siaya tutasema siaya rice usonga rice sirio rice lakini tunataka ikifika mwezi wa sita saba ukiingia katika supermarket ule ile mchele ambao umetoka siaya ambao ni mzuri kama ile ya mwea na pia tukiendelea hivyo 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 vile umeanza na umeonyesha kwamba umejenga kule busia na sehemu zingine najua tukifanya kazi pamoja within 12 or 18 months wewe ukipanda hapa juu na tucheze dansi na wewe eh itakuwa tunavaa mashati ya kutoka kwa pamba ya siaya na jina ya siaya inawezekana na kwa hivyo hii ushirikiano ni muhimu ushirikiano ni muhimu na Kenya kama ni mambo ya maendeleo hatuna mpaka tunataka vile mmekuja na uh, pr, uh, principal secretary wa uh, uh, cooperatives eh? na nafurahia na sana nataka kule ambao tuna tunakuza mchele kule usonga kitu ambayo ilitufanya tufaulu ni cooperative society ambayo kule iko kule usonge usonga na kule usonga kuna wakina mama na vijana hata watu wa boda boda sikuizi wameingia katika ka, kwa biashara hiyo ya ya mpunga na mchele kwa hivyo unataka ukirudi wakati ambapo tunaangalia siaya imetoka imetoa tani ngapi za za pamba ukirudi hapa na tulete wale, wale wazee walikuwa wa union Eh, mzee wetu eh, next time you are going to get a, a chance to speak don't be discouraged lakini next time you come we must see young people we must see women wanaume waje kaa tu peke yao kitu ambao saa zingine inaleta changamoto wakati kuna wakati mwingine tulikuwa tumelete mbegu hapa ndere na hizo mbegu hawakuwa mzuri eh, pamba ilikuwa na mea lakini haitoi hiyo 
pamba yenyewe haizalishi pe, uh, uh, pamba lakini hizi mbegu nataka ku, kukuelezea kwamba zile ulileta mwaka jana hata mimi nilipanda na sasa ninafanya harvesting na yule mtu kutoka kwa cotton mills kama una hela hapo uziweke tayari ni kupatia hizo pamba zangu i am very excited about this event and please don't give up on our farmers it is a shame that we should be eating rice from pakistan or india it is a shame that we are wearing clothes from cotton grown in india and in china it is time we wake up and we grow these crops ourselves and make sure that the factories are here in our counties and in our country called kenya mimi naita patrick lemi mimi ndio katibu wa shirika kwa serikali kuu na nashukuru governor because of the way we woke up tulikuwa hapa tena siku kuja last year to distribute hii pamba lakini ndugu yangu alikuwa na tumeona bindi kwa sababu ile mbegu tulipiana ilipandwa hata kama wote ilikuwa mbaya we have seen tumeona growth ya tonnage from uh, last year to this year na tunaona sasa tukipeana hii na Mungu atusaidie na wadau mzuri isiaye itarune pale kama kama nitatuambia hii ilikuwa ni tasiaya ya pamba nataka na tasiaya irudie those glorious days when the economy of siaya was anchored by cotton growing amen nashukuru sana watu wa siaya ile kitu naomba tu ni hivi governor you know in, a, in this administration mimi nimepewa kazi ya kufanya ile kitu inaitwa aggregation kazi yangu ni hapa hapa watu chini hapa kupanga watu into small feasible economic units in this uh, part of the world your excellency the cooperative movement has legacy problems ukiambia watu wende kwa cooperative wanaogopa and it is best demonstrated in the financial circles ukiangalia the culture of savings due to mistrust is not entrenched if you look at the big circle in uh, in these areas unakuta savings iko chini kwa sababu watu hawaamini watu wana private nimeambua wengine wanaenda mpaka kisi kufanya savings huko bila kuweka hapa kwa sako za hapa nataka tufanye kasi na na county ya na serikali ya council of governors in collaboration with you we know you are a big voice in the council of governors support us as we push through the new cooperative law which because the currency of transaction in the cooperative movement is trust but this trust we cannot ask for it we must earn it from the people of siaya now the only way we can earn this trust is by demonstrating what kwa wakulima wa pamba pamba ikilimo kama serikali imesema ni shilingi 72 kwa kilo moja mkulima anapata hiyo 72 si ati inapotelea between mununuzi na mkulima pesa inapotea kwa cooperative hapo hapo katikati hapana ya pili nataka kwa pili governor we need more young people and more in in agriculture and more so in this value chains which are commercial which are anchoring the economy as well i mean as priority value chains unajua nimeona wazee wangu wa wa siaya cooperative cotton cooperative ni wazee wazuri and i want to thank them for their contribution to the cooperative movement but we need more young people we need more more women in the cotton uh, growing sector you are excellent say unajua kuna mtu aliambia vijana wetu wende kwa boda boda but when they saw there is money the sector busts let us demonstrate to our young people that there is money in cotton now watu wata nini watarudi kwa mashamba cia is good for even for even for coffee you excellent the governor this county can grow almost everything but importantly allow me as i conclude let me talk about a value chain we look and we see potential in siaya the blue economy your excellency we are working with the your minister to convert all the bmbmbmus in siaya in along the lake to cooperatives because we see billionaires fish billionaires in Nairobi we see fish billionaires in Mombasa but we don't see them where the fish is coming from we will convert working with our state department and uh, your minister we convert the bmus into cooperative we will have siaya fish union and we want to let us see what can we do with that value chain
to bring the anxiety which the fisherman has to face every day at 5 p.m. as he think about how he's going to sell his fish at Gunpoint because he has to cater for his day-to-day -day needs from that fish. And we can only do that if we have people come together into cooperatives and we work on the marketing side of things. <laughs> Uh, two varieties of the production of cotton. Yes. The first grade we call the ARC cotton. Then the second grade we call the BRC cotton. And the, and we have another one which is sorted. After sorting out, we get the two grades. Then you get the seed also out of it. So in one acre, if it is well managed, you can put it this one's from Lego Usama and this one's from Sakwaibo Bondo. Mm. Take care of this type of animal. It is named and the traces that it leaves doesn't allow the penetration of striker process to be one, two, it also <laughs> This is a technical. Yeah. No, this is uh, the VTC, okay. County. Okay. We have Yala VTC. Okay. We have Randago VTC. Then we have uh, Yandeho VTC. Okay. So this is the products that are from. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. State Department ya Cooperative, State Department ya Agriculture, eh, Regional Development. Nataka kuanza kwa kusema ya kwamba, nataka kushukuru team ya County Government. Headed by His Excellency. Pamba. Siyaya Luma Pamba. Chairman, the chairman of the corporate union, Akoji Kawaran. The things are being handed over to the corporate union officials uh, who will then, uh, uh, together with the Department of Agriculture, uh, distribute uh, the foods to our farmers. <laughs> I'm the CCL for Trade, Cooperative, Enterprise and Industrialization. Thank you. Our governor, the visiting guest, yes, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, we are here today for a special function and we have our guest. Siaya County Chain for Grass Grace. At last, we can now celebrate a golden touch in our county, Shoko Kyongozi, Hongera Governor. We can now begin, but do I say, we live and others will finally follow. 
In administration, we shine. Academics, we are the giants. Governor of Sierra County, Honorable James Arango, and all distinguished guests. Welcome to okay. For example, Joshua Kawale, Hi, thank you very much, Mayor, for that uh, info. Um, calling upon the Nyala uh, Vocational and uh, Training Institute, may you. County Commissioner members of the county assembly president, members of the county executive, the chief officers and all other county government. His Excellency Mr. Ramana, you raise our shoulders so high. Don't stop until it's done. At a chain is prosperity. Let's take a sire. The doors to the magic is open every day. A place to call home. Home, sweet home. Sierra County. My pride. Hashodan Stadium. Modern Stadium. Yes, industrialization and cooperative. Feel welcome to Sierra. Uh, today is a very special day for us in the in the <laughs> Uh, to the governor, our PSS from uh, who first in the program because we are still moving to other places. And I will see Butu and the county secretary. I want to recognize the chief officers who are with us here. Chief officers, could you just stand? We have our chief uh, officers uh, different uh, departments. And we want to recognize your presence. And in the interest of time, we may not give opportunity to all of us for this particular. And when I joined Jokanda, the advisor to the governor on uh, political uh, affairs, the two departments being the ones hosting uh, the program for today. And starting with the CEC team. To you, my name is Richard Wadi, I'm currently attending. Thank you. Uh,